Hello, my name is Adam and I am on the Papercut support team here in Portland. Today I'll be discussing how an end user can request a refund for a print job and how an admin can approve or deny this request. We all know that things such as paper jams, toner problems, and print quality issues can occur, so we want to be able to give the end user the ability to request a refund when the print job is erroneous. Let's jump in and see how this is done in Papercut. First, let's set our options in the admin console to allow the end user to request a refund for their job. You can set this by going to the Papercut admin console, Options, User Features, then check the box next to Allow Users to Request Refunds. Once you've checked the box, you'll see an expansion of more options regarding the behavior of these requests. You can allow and even require users to enter a reason for the refund request here, set email settings for an email notification sent to the user when the request is approved or denied, and allow a specific group of users to always have the request approved. Now that we have allowed end users to submit refund requests, let's see how the process looks on their end. The user can submit a refund request via the user web interface, which can be opened by clicking the details hyperlink in the Papercut user client window. Once the user has arrived at the user web interface, click Recent Print Jobs. We can now see a list of recently submitted print jobs. From here, click Request Refund in the Status column. Now that the user is on the Request Refund page, they can confirm the information regarding the refund request, including requesting a partial refund. Since we checked the option to require a reason by the user, we'll enter that here, then click Send. The user will now see a status hyperlink which can be hovered over to see pertinent information regarding the status of their refund request. Now it's the admin's turn to approve or deny the refund request. Admins can approve or deny requests by logging into the admin console, selecting the printers tab, then refunds. Here you'll see all the pending refund requests. You can approve or deny the request, or select Other to change details such as the amount to refund, as well as add a comment such as why the job was or was not refunded. Once the request has been processed, the user will see the amount added back to their balance. If you enabled email notifications when the request is processed and options, the user will now receive an email notification according to the format settings. One last feature to discuss is enabling daily or hourly email notifications for admins to be notified of pending refund requests. This is set by going to Options, Notifications, then scroll to System Notifications and check the box next to Pending Refund Requests. You will then see options for setting either daily or hourly emails, the content of the notification, and the email addresses for the admins that need to be notified of refund requests. And that's how to refund print jobs and Papercut. If you have any further questions, feel free to look through our knowledge base and manual at papercut.com or reach out to us here in the support team by emailing support at papercut.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>